Hello guys and ladies, this is Premium Milk. Here is a tutorial for the Photo 3D Camera Animator for After Effects. Here we have um, 25 compositions. You can choose any of them to customize the effect. So let's get inside to the first one. As you can see on the folder, there is a placeholder and the placeholder map. You need to put on the placeholder your photo and on the placeholder map, the map of the folder that you will make from Photoshop. Let's see now. Let's pick up an image. Let's uh, select a photo. Let's say we need them. Um, this photo. <clears throat> Which one? This one. So we place it on uh, here. Very nice. Let's put 100. And let's make also for this photo now the map the depth map. So bring this photo to Photoshop and select filter, neural filters, depth map, just click, click output depth map only and remember to put focus subject off, not on, off to have better quality. Click OK and just save this as a copy, as a JPEG file, as the same name with a map. So you go back to After Effects and now you bring the map here. So copy this to the map, okay, to have the existing position and scale and drag and drop the map to replace the image, holding the Alt key. Let's go now to placeholder one to see the controls what we have. First of all, this effect, the 3D camera effect, it is a part of the premium builder photo effects animator that has more than 3D camera. They have almost 18 effects, digital effect, electric. You can find it on video hive that, that combines a lot of different effects that you can choose and make. So let's continue. Let's bring the effects because we don't have them here. Okay, now here the controls. First of all, we have, first of all, let's hit preview to see the result. Okay, of this move. We have uh, the 3D value that you can, you can increase it to 30 or to 40 or less to have more 3D move. So here is the move, very nice. So here we have the camera move left zoom in. Let's go to select the right zoom in to see the difference. It goes from the right. And also we have the zoom out. When you do zoom out, remember to the optic zoom in to check optic zoom out. Very nice. This optics gives more. You can put it off if you want, if you don't want to need it. So here is a move of zoom out, very nice. Also we have top from top zoom in, very nice move also here, like this. That's a camera, it's a camera that moves along the, the object. Here is the top zoom out. We have the bottom zoom in from down, okay also the bottom zoom out and then we have combined moves like left top zoom in like this one and goes and up and on the left you can choose any of them and remember that the 3d value is the more important if you put 10 let's say it is less maybe some photos they need more or less so this is it how it works let's bring another image also to see the difference let's bring this uh, lady, okay, on the placeholder, remember you put this image, okay, here, copy and paste and replace Le this specific photo needs from the left to go, it's more interesting. This is it, very nice, the render is very 
fast. Here we have a five second animation. So if you want, you can, uh, as, as you see on the preview, I have time stretch a bit to 60% to put two seconds to have a qu quicker animation, quicker move in order to be more visible the result. As you see, very nice. So this is how it works. The Photo 3D Camera Animator is very easy to customize and make your story and make your photos come to life. So this is it. I hope you like it. Don't forget to rate. Thank you very much. Bye bye.